Hey guys, so, so today we're still waiting for Porsche engine parts to come back. So we've been working on the sheet metal for the engine covering while it's off. I pretty much took all of it. And it was in various states of disrepair and flaking. I took it to work and sandblasted it and then I just painted it with rattle cans. Had to do some repairs. This one, this whole tab was gone. So I made a new one. Well, no, this one was there, but it was split, so I welded that back together. This one, it was gone. It was kind of hogged up right there, and there was a hole for, I think, a smog tube to go through. Went ahead and welded that up on that one, and that one to help seal everything up a little better. And there were a couple little more places that needed tack. Um, pretty much it for that part. Uh, yeah, this one. That whole flange was gone too, so I scabbed a piece of metal on there and welded that back. <clears throat> so that was all taken to bare metal. While I'm going this far, I took the, uh, the pan that surrounds the engine and blasted it. Which revealed a bunch of pits and rot. It was actually uh, really pitted. I thought it was undercoating until it came out and it was all pitted. You can see a little bit of it right there. So I just filled it with JB Weld. There were actually some holes rotted through there. There and there. And there was no way I was gonna weld it as thin as this stuff is. So that's some tape on this side to help hold it in there. So, good enough. So while I've gone that far, there were, I'm sure you can see this. This hole and this hole were aftermarket, I believe, for a different exhaust system that was on it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the hammer and dolly on my birdbath stand and flatten them out so we don't have any more. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to Gonna weld them up. So I've clamped a piece of aluminum behind there and we will just weld that hole shut. Stuff is so thin that it's hard to weld. I've got this welder turned way down too.
Alright. So let me find some safety glasses and we will grind that flat. Go out in the backyard, wiped it down with some thinner, and we'll just shoot some good old Krylon professional grade red oxide primer. There's one lot coat, we'll come back and do another coat and then we'll top coat it. Got the other side's actually painted, two coats of primer on this, and now we're gonna use some semi-gloss black. Try to dry a few minutes and come back and hit it again. There's two coats. All right, now we'll put on a pretty heavy wet coat and we'll be done. So you're the one eating the plants. Please stop. Yes, you. Stop eating my plants. I guess you're saying I was not involved, right? Not me.